9-11's strongest sales market? As you know, we are a global manufacturer, so we have one third in Europe, one third in the United States, and one third in Asia. You wouldn't say there's, you wouldn't say there's a particular market there where you're expecting to see more growth? The United States is very important for us, but uh, as well as Europe and Asia. Okay. Um, how many units of the new 911 are you planning to sell per year? I suppose we should have uh, about 30,000 each year. So. At the end of the day, it should be more than 200,000 in life cycle. Um, what is your outlook for the market for next year? Do you see any signs of luxury vehicle markets being hit by the economic slowdown? Yeah, of course. Uh, we know uh, from the last crisis that also luxury vehicles uh, are um, punished. So we expect uh, some uh, market problems. But uh, Porsche is well prepared for that, uh, uh, for that uh, item. And just one final question. Are you more optimistic or pessimistic on the sales outlook for 2012 than you were six months ago? We are skeptic because we don't know what uh, the uh, economics will do and the politics. We hope that uh, we, have, we will have the same uh, prospects like that here. And uh, what we have is a well-prepared uh, product program. So we have the 911, next year the Boxster and the Cayman. So we expect more or less the same figures like uh, in uh, 2011. Okay. And finally, what other additions to the portfolio are you planning to achieve? A goal of doubling your annual sales to 200,000 by 2018. That is, uh, that is not the problem because uh, if we uh, will have the Cayune with 50,000 each year and a successful Panamera and the markets will grow, then we will have 200,000. We do not more any new models uh, for that figure.